cool about him. If he ever gets busted, we won't mind because we know how he is, right? He's very honest about his life. We're like when Whitney Houston got popped, we were all like shocked, you know? They found marijuana in her purse at an airport and everybody, oh, Whitney, my aunt was like, she's a Christian, she shouldn't be snorting marijuana. Why she snort the marijuana? You know, good girl. <laughs> and I had the total opposite opinion, because I mean, I, first of all, I love Whitney, she's a nice girl. And, and you justify things when you like somebody. I was like, look, Whitney is married to Bobby Brown. She should be able to smoke dope legally, okay? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> she should get a note from the government that she can hand the police and shit, you know? When they pull her over, it's like, here, read this, you know, shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm married to Bobby, shit. <laughs> At some awards show, Whitney called Bobby Brown, see, she loves him, that's what's amazing. I, I think that's what I like about her, that she loves her man so much. Every man in here should be loved once in your life, like Whitney loves Bobby. You know, she said at an award show, um, I want to say hello to my husband and called him the original king of R&B. Yeah, and I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Bobby Brown? <laughs> Bobby Brown ain't the king of shit. Bobby Brown ain't even finished Tenderoni 2. How the fuck are we going to make him the king? The king of R&B, unless R&B means reefer and beatdowns. I don't know <laughs> how. Bobby's the king. Come on, he's too young to be the king, baby. We know you love him. But she loves him. She go pick him up from prison in limos and shit, you know? I can't even get my woman to come to the airport to get me and shit, you know? In the car I bought her. <laughs> like, oh, can't you take a limo? Fuck you, bitch. You know? Buy you a fucking car and you can't come to the airport. Whitney outside prison, happy. In front of a limo and shit. We know who the kings are, you know? The kings are uh, Otis Redding, Wilson Pickett, Al Green, all the old guys. Uh, Little Richard, he's the original king and queen of R&B. So <laughs> before we get down the list to Bobby. I was sitting in a dentist's office and I heard that song, uh, Dock of the Bay. That's a good song, I don't know who it was about though, but you know, I had never really paid attention to the words, you know, just sitting in the morning sun. I'll be shitting when the evening comes. And I'm like, this is a lazy motherfucker. <laughs> That's your plan for the whole day? <laughs> Watching the ships roll in. Then I watch them roll. It's like, I'll be there. Get yourself a Game Boy or something. Up the Have some children. Take a walk. Meet you a lady. It's like, buy an etch a sketch or something that you can play with while you're out there. You know, it's like, oh, here comes the ship again. <laughs> oh, boy. I saw, um, I saw this repeat of a show where Aretha Franklin uh, and Luciano Pavarotti was supposed to sing. And Luciano got sick, and they asked Aretha if she would sing the Italian opera that he was going to sing, and she said yes. And I'm like, nah, see, we give out titles too quick. She is the queen. She's still the queen of soul. You know, we don't have to, we don't have to dispute that. I mean, she, and she sang, because think about it. I have a lot of respect for Luciano Pavarotti. If Aretha had gotten sick, Luciano couldn't have done her shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> that would have been an interesting musical evening. You know, so. <laughs> You know we're riding on the freeway of love. <laughs> like, in a pink Cadillac. <laughs> R-E-S-P-C-T, find out what it means. <laughs> By the third song, you get good to you, you know. <laughs> Who's zooming whom? <laughs> I kinda like this. Go, Luciano. <laughs> oh boy, I saw an ex-girlfriend today. You ever see an ex-girlfriend and like it don't take but like three seconds to remember why the fuck you had to leave her ass? And, like three seconds, we're standing there and I'm talking and, and I, I see a really fine girl 
And I, and I just, I, I, you know, I, I do this, and she said, what you looking at? You know, it's like, I'm like, I'm not even with you anymore, and you're fucking with me. She used to all, we used to argue about that all the time. You know, what you looking at? That argument, what you looking at? And you can't say what you looking at, because, you know, you, you can't tell the truth. We, <laughs> we wouldn't be men if we told the truth. And just, oh, see the girl with the big circus titties over there, right? Like that? That's what I, oh. 